شهر رمضان الذي أنزل فيه القرآن هدى للناس وبينات من الهدى والفرقان فمن شهد منكم الشهر فليسم ومن كان مريضا أو على سفر فعدة من أيام أخر يريد الله بكم اليسر ولا يريد بكم العسر ولتكملوا العدة ولتكبروا الله على ما هداكم ولعلكم تشكرون الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه وبعده يوا ما سجرما السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته برنم تاري أبوجا دم تجبات دا تفسيرنا وترمضا ملاين الدعاء الله تبارك وتعالى كرمنا كم يسابو تكاد كيود إيمان يوما كم ورية دم كسابا لا متاشي أين هو كان أجيا منا تكن شورت زمر لا متاشي أكن آية تقوم شابي وأمرت لأن أكون أول المسلمين. الله يبعد أمرني عن أي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم دشوا قل إني أمرت أن أعبد الله مكلي صلى الله الدين كشيد سويا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم أن أمر شئني أو أن أن أمر شئ أن أي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم دشوا يا بوتا ما الله ينامي صار كشوا تعيني بوتا إذوا غريش. Yena mitar kiwan na adini, wana shini umurni najia adamu karanta aya tugu mshada. Tu wana aya tshada watu tshada biuchi gabantu wa umir tu kumasi akakara umutata. Kaga dam umutishi daba utang Allah shi katai dakar kiki adini idwa ga Allah taala saan nang kumau umir tu hakena ansa kiki umutata. Allah yang sakit bani umur ni Ya an aku na awal al-muslimin Domi inkasan ce Na paru komik awya Awan na adi na muslim ci Anay Muhammad SAW Awan na al-uma Shini mutin na paru ku Wadda Yaka i muslim ci Abayan sani akasamu Atikinya ra Sayyidina Ali Radiallahu anhu Cikin waktu ayam manja mata ialan sa kerja rezellau anna asam cikin manja sed nak bakar rezellau anu hakan aku itu samun itu kumutane suna shiga suna shiga hatta mana anak irgas cuan sini nanti cuan sini nabiu cuan sini nauku amashi anda Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam sini perku kuma sini perku dah Allah tabarak wa taala Ye giri mama, mapi giri mah, mapi mata i atsikin bayan segala kita. Si ni perpu. Atsikin anna bawa, dah alat alai pipi tang. Atsikin jamaah ayat besu. Nyesa nyasi, yang atsikin su. Saan nyesa nyasi, cikwan dah ke ambatan atsik al Quran yang asyik nabiar. Saan nangku mah ye, saan nyasi cikungu dah biar. Dah kecik awal alamina rusul. Saan nangku mah saan nyasi cikungu dah biu. Wad Allah ayat apa? Ye liti su maku santa kerisi. Saya nak buat cium gudang yang aku sakit. Oh kan anda Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam sih ni mesti suyu agar ini tidak Allah. Jika saya cium sih ni nak perlu mudik ke mama biasa. Hanya nanya cium kul inna salati, wanusuki, umahaya, umati, Ilahi Rabbil Alamin, la syarikala, wabidali ke umitu, wa ana awal muslimin. Lalai kagaya musuh. Kami dah akan cium ini. Anang waktu ayat ini yang mana? Inda salah na anda Muhammad Sallam. Dulu abin dek ini yang ke yang ke. Nelaya di yang kandari. Daraiwa jamu tua kebaki dia. Na Allah ni. Baya baru mana abu badang Allah wa. Ko wanir kecuma na abang kebaki dia dengan Allah ikhlas. Ubang kita tahu lagi, bapa abu kita taraya atau apa sih? Kuma anak mai sakit cewa, ang umur cewa ingkasan cewa ni ni perpang demi kau ya. 
to shi muslimi yana shiga musulunci ne da yadda da gamsuwa babu tin sasawa babu tin sasawa uh, ana zamanin da ake kulle kulle wa musulunci a sarari da koye shi addini musulunci ko ka kulla mashi zaka fadi saboda duk wanda yake cikin sa ya fahimci addini to ba wai an kirsa sa masa ne ba a ya gamsu ne ya yadda ne kuma shi mai bi ne ya san shi bawon Allah ne na suratul zumar verse 12 verse 11 of the surah is directly connected with verse 12 where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded the messenger of Allah Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam to tell us that he had been commanded by Allah to worship him alone without associating partner and to him and purify the deen the religion and worship to him alone again in continuation allah says wa ubirtu li an akuna awwal al muslimin i have also been commanded to be the first among those who submitted themselves to allah the most high as a muslim the messenger of allah muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the one whom Allah the Most High sent with this religion. Therefore, he was the first person to be convinced and to have submitted himself and accepted Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as the only deity worthy of being worshipped. Thereafter, when he started preaching, uh, his companions started believing in him and embracing Islam. As history has recorded, Ali radiallahu anhu as, one, uh, as the first among the a youth Khadija as the first among the women Abu Bakr radiyallahu anhu as the first personality to embrace Islam among the uh, elder, elderly ones so the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was the first to accept and to submit himself to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that's why Allah says uh, let him uh, let him be the first among the muslims so that everyone will follow after him just as Allah the Most High says in another verse qul inna salati wa nusuki tell them o messenger of Allah all my acts of worship including prayer and all others wa nusuki and my worship of offering sacrifice wa mahyaya and the totality of my life wa mamati and my death lillahi rabbil alamin is absolutely in the hand of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he is the one who can decide in each of these things وَلِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ إِنَّ صَلَاتِي وَنُسْكِي وَمَحْيَا وَمَاتِي لِلَّهِ وَالْمِنْ لَا شَرِيكَ لَهُ There is no one worthy of being worshipped, no associate unto Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala وَبِذَلِكَ وَمِرْتُ Just as a repetition of this وَأُمِرْتُ لِأَنْ أَقُونَ Allah says وَبِذَلِكَ وَمِرْتُ That's how I have been commanded وَأَنَا And I Meaning the Messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم أول المسلمين The first among those who submitted themselves to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is why Islam is not compulsion. Whoever you see him worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and uh, answering the name of a Muslim is doing that of his own choice, from his conviction. Nobody forced him to embrace Islam. That is why no amount of propaganda, no amount of force, no amount of whatever problem be or attack against Islam will make Muslims to renounce Iman because it, it is not out of claim. If Muslims are claiming that they follow the religion, maybe something small can make a person to renounce Iman. But it is out of conviction that enters one's heart. He is convinced that's why he's worshipping Allah. Therefore, Islam will continue to remain the only religion approved by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And to the end of the world, despite whatever pressure, despite whatever propaganda, Muslims will remain committed in worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah increase us in iman and sincerity. <laughs> قل كجايا والأمم إني لليني إن جاندي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم أخاف إن أجن صورو إن أسيت ربي إذا نسحب أمو بنجيلا النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم 
yana tsoron ya saba mu Allah baya so wani abu da Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala yace ayi bai yi ba baya so wani abu da Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala ya hana yin sa shi ya aikata to kaga ashe ya kamata mu lura kwarai da ayyukan da muke aikatawa idan lallai kana kaunin annabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam kuma kana bin su da kafa shi yace yana tsoron ya saba mu Allah to kai fa zaka samu mutane yanzu suna kutsawa cikin sabo ba tare da ma wani tsoro ba ba kunya a cikin jama'a ba tsoro ba tunanin ma ana iya daukar ran mutum a lokacin shi da aka turo da abun wanda yake da matsayi babba a wajen Allah tabaraka wata wanda in zunubi ne ma an riga an yafe mushi in yayi ma bare ma bai ba to ina tsoro to kai da ba sunan ka ba amma san ka ba bare a ce ko an yafe maka amma ba ka tsoron a gan ka wajen barna a gan ka wajen sabo a gan ka wajen yin kaba'irai ku shi sa idan mutane suka ce suna san annabi muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam dole fa sai sun hattara sai sun bi irin matakan da ya bi sai sun so irin abin da ya so sai sun ki irin abin da ya ki sai sun tsorace duk abin da shi yake tsoro wannan shine so na gaskiya amma dan kawai ka dinga rai cewa kai kana san shi amma duk abin da yake so bai dame ka ba duk abin da yake ki ba shine shi anan ka ba duk abin da yake tsoro ba ka ma tsoron sa kai to akwai abin duba qul in kuntum tuhibbun allah fattabi'uni idan lallai kuna san allah to ni za ku bi bi na ko shine duk abin da na tsa na ce gashi to shi za ku shi sa allah ta'ala ce laqad kana lakum fi rasulillah uswatun hasana abun koyi mafi kyau da za ku yi koyi da shi yana ga annabi muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam to ka ji anan allah ta'ala ya ce ya ga wa kowa cikin mabiyansa qul inni akhafu lallaini ina tsoro in asaitu idan na saba wa rabbi ubangiji na azaba yawmin adhim ina tsoron azaban nan na wata yini wadda yini nan yana da girma wato shine yinin alkiyama kin yinda za a tara mu gaba kidai gaban allah da na farko da na tsakiya da na karshe da maza da mata da sarakai da malamai da talakawa da kowa da maza da mata kowa zai tsaya gaban allah wannan yinin abun tsoro ne wannan yinin abun tsoro to shi yana tsoron abin da ka iya samun mutun na azaba a wannan yinin saboda haka yake guje dukkan abin da ya zanto sabo to mu ma ya kamata mu dauki darasi duk abin da za a ce saba mu allah ne to lalle ka nisan shi abu saboda kar a ji kunya a wannan yinin idan mutun kowa ya yi ba daidai ba marmaza ya tuba tun kafin lokaci ya kure allah ya samu dace still the prophet of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam was commanded to declare and to tell us that inni akhaf i fear in asai to rabbi if i should disobey my lord allah subhanahu wa ta'ala i fear adaba yawmin azim the punishment of the great day meaning the punishment of the day of qiyam therefore the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the leader of the obedient servants of allah we only take model from him and we copy from him therefore those of us as muslims who are claiming to have to be lovers of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam should be seen following the footsteps of the prophet of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam as the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam feared the punishment of the great day should he disobey allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so we should fear more that more punishment of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam because we are always to do always commit one sin or the other while the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has to be forgiven by allah the most high so it's not a mere claim for one to say that he loves the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam allah the most high says qul in kuntum tuhibbuna allah fattabi'u if at all it is reality it is truth that you really love allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fattabi'uni then 
you should confirm that by following me, copying me, and not disobeying me, but tadi'uni, you should be from Allah, as a result of that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will equally love you. Lakat kana lakum fi rasulillahi uswatun hasana. You have indeed uswatun hasana, best qualities, moral rectitude to follow and to emulate from the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam for those who want to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala successfully in this world and in the hereafter. Therefore, Islam is not claimed. Whereby you claim love of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, but you go contrary to what the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam commanded. Therefore, if the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam will fear the torment of the great day, what more of you and I? Therefore, we should, uh, uh, we should observe our limits and we should know uh, the, uh, my, the, the greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that we stay away from this obeying Him. To hari yanzu umbo nini Yigea mwana al-uma Al-uma nda Allah tabarak wa ta'ala Yadha umana anday Muhammad Salasani zaman tu shini Watu aini abu nkwoyim Kuli laha abu Kagaya musu lalle ni Allah niki bautawa Mukhulisan Ina kumi tharka ki wanna mbautang izwa ga Allah Lahu dini Duk abin naki na adini Na bauta Tuna Allah ni Babu wana abu Wada andai Muhammad sallam zehi Wada ba umurniye da ga Allah Babu abu nda zehi pata Wada ba Allah nechi apata da aiki da magana da itikadi komai umurnin Allah ne duk da irin saurin harshe annabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam baya magana sai abinda Allah ta'ala ce ba mayan tiku anil hawa in huwa illa wahyu yuha baya fadin son zuciyarsa sai abinda Allah ta'ala ce ga ya musu sai ya fadi haka nan ibada sai wadda aka ce yayi shi zai to a wannan gaba na ibada da yake cewa shi ibadan nan gabaki daya da biyayya da yake wa Allah da duk ibada da yake wa Allah na Allah ne baya da zabi shi baya kirkiro wani abu shi sa mu ma duk wani abun da zamu na ibada mu tabbatar cewa wannan ibadan muna da asalin sa daga annabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam abu nabi kuma shine mu yi wannan ibadan dan Allah Badan muta ni segani bas iya ba, badan muta ni sia ke ustaz zuni, ko sia kana orang Allah, kaidan Allah, hakashima aneng yepa na, shiesa za ga chun na muka para wan nang karatu, Allah ki tamai mai tamana, kalima te ikhlas, a aya te biu, a wan nang surang na muka karanta, Allah ya ba ni ikhlas, a aya te uku, Allah ya muka ni ikhlas, a aya te gomo shak dea. Allah ya magana ikhlasi Haya tugu mashahudu Allah ya magana ikhlasi Dulu kachinda akichi zake bauta Tuwaka kula da ikhlasi mbauta na Ndumeng imba wana ikhlasi Ntu wana iwada mba Bashi Wana ibada kai Bada aka beta ba Kuma shishi ya danyana dada baru Idanya hana Idanya ya hana kamaka Isalla nga bada akichi zi gai Tu saya beli aku kumai gaji waktu ya siapa tu salam, balik 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 ba. Kuma abin dek dia wahal dama kebaca, kembali dezo al terpaya daban daban. Abun dek wahal dasu ikhlas. Naik ke sudang Allah si kei basa boi wa sesu cewan abun yena wahal dama. Abah aku musuh muda. Ko ase ceci ikhlas ini desi. Ko ase ceci mumi ini. Ko ase ceci min orang Allah. Ama susu kan puro pili su ce wannan abu yana wahal da shi tun kaga shi ya fadi nasu andai Muhammad sassan cewa shi Allah zai bauta yana mai tsarki ba da izuwa ga Allah amma wa'adda suke kafirai fa abudu ma shi tun ku je ku bauta abin da ku ga dama 
Yasa mu adini musulunci ba mu dole. Duk wanda ya tare kai ce ma adini musulunci da takobi aka yada shi da karfi ne ana tursa sa mutane ana danne su ana yi kaza to kariya yake. Fa abu duma shi to. Aka ce wa annai Muhammad ya ga wa sauran mushirkai na maka su bauta abinda duka suka ga dama. Shi sa lakum dinukum wal yaddin. A musulunci kenan kuna da addini kuma ran nan. Idan kowa ya je can zai bayani la ikraha fi din babu tilas babu dole ganganci ne babba musulmi ya ga cewa sai ya sa wani rashin fahimtar addini kai dan ka zo masallaci sallan tarawi kai dan a gani ba dan Allah ba Allah ba zai karba ba kai ka zo da kanka Allah ba zai karba ba kai ruku'in kai sujadan kai komai tare da ka aka yi in ba kai dan Allah ba Allah ba zai karba ba to ya zai a cewa ya dauko wanda karfi an kawo shi masallaci an zo an an tursa sa shi an dora goshin sa a kasa ya Allah zai da ibadar aka mu addinin ba dole ba ba dole a ciki kuma addinin mu ba na tashin hankali ba ne duk wanda ya san kissan musulunci tun farkon sa a makka da mutanen maka suka tsangomi musulmai so tsangomi sahabai na rasulullah sallam ya ma bar musu garin to wanda ke koyi da wannan addi da wannan manzo shine za a ce dan ta dan ta addini haka musulmi ya gaya wa kowa wanda ba ya san addinin musulunci ka ce da shi fa abu duma shi to ku je ku bauta duk abin da kuke so abin da yake sa a samu matsala da musulmi shine idan aka ce za a hana shi shi nasa to nan ne fa za a samu matsala kuma yau ma rawunin mu ne yasa ba a samu matsalan kin sa rawunin mu yanzu akwai gaba gaba da yawa a kasar nan duk da yawan mu da girman mu da komin mu sai a ce ba za a yi bane musulunci kuma din ba za a yi din ba amma duk da haka mu ake tsangowa yanzu akwai inda mace a makaranta ba za a yadda ta sa hijabi a kasar nan kai jarabawa wanda ake gani da ake na dole na kasa su irin su ji si wasu lokutan ran juma a lokutan sallah ake sa su har yanzu kai makarantan horar da manya ga baki da banka ɗara boko ga baki ɗaya da ake zuwa akuru a plato har yanzu ana sa musu manya ne fa ana sa musu abin da ke cin karo da lokacin ibadar musulunci kuma kai bincike a wannan ramadan din ma akwai abin da yace karo daga bakolin makaranta ne amma sai musulmi ya hakuri ya shiru amma duk da haka shi ne dan ta'adda to nan ne kamata a ce musulmi ya gane mu a musulunci babu wani wanda zaka sa yi dole babu shi in ma kai kai ka jawo kanka ba a saka ba amma mu a bar mu mu yi namu su ma su yi nasu kowa yi nasu fa abudu ma shi tun ku bauta duk abin da kuke so amma a bar mu yi namu in kace za ka ba da musalai da yawa a kasar nan sai kai ta ba da musalai yanzu ranar lahadi ba a aiki a kasar nan a dukance ba karatun makaranta hatta ma'aikatan asibiti a wannan ranar kadan ne ake tsiba na dole kowa yana gidan sa amma ran juma'a sai ka samu ma'aikaci sai ya nemi izini wajen shugaban sa wacce zai je sallan juba an yace a muna da aiki ba za ka je ba kai ka isa ka ce ran lahadi a zuwa ya aiki in kuma kariya nake a gwada mana a ce ran lahadi a zuwa ya aiki ka ga tashin hankali sai ka mu muna da sauki mu ba mu da tashin hankali mu ko abin da muke so a bar mu ibadar mu shine kawai ba wani tursa sa wani to amma yanzu lokaci yayi da ya kamata irin wannan bayanan a dinga yin su karara ba wani jan baya duk abin da ke haƙƙin mu ne mu tsayi sai an yi shi ba ko ana so ba ko ba a so ba ko ana so ba ko ba a so saboda mu ba za a ce ba za mu ce a hana na wani ba ba ma ma fadin haka to shi sa Allah ta'ala ce wa annabi Muhammad kai shele kai bayani ka ga ma duniya kaf na wancan lokacin da na yau da wa'ida za a yi nan gaba قل الله اعبد مخلصا له الدين ني ina bauta ma Allah ne ina tsarkake addini zuwa gare shi fa abudu ma shitum ku ma ku bauta ma abin da kuke so ba fada 
fa'budu ma syitu min dunihi kubota mu abinda kuke so ba Allah din ba kubota mu gumaka kubota mu mutane kubota mu aljannu kubota mu annabawa duk wanda kuke so kubota mu shi ba matsala ul ka sake ga musu innal khasirin alladhina khasiru anfusahum lalle wa'id da ake cewa masu hasara idan kana ne wanda ya hasara ba wanda ya bude shago bane a kasuwa ya sai abu da tsada ya sai da ara wannan ibtilai ne a kansa kuma asara ce mai sauki amma in kana neman wanda ya asara Allah ta'ala shi ya ga mana anan yace lalle wa'id da suka yi hasara alladhina khasiru anfusahum wanda suka yi hasara ka wannan su ba kayan kasuwan ba su kansu a rasa su ba su kadai ba kuma Allah tabarak wa ta'ala ce ba su kadai ba aka rasa wa ahlihim su kai asaran kuma iyalan su ko ba a duniya ba domin ina kai gobara kara su iyalan ka saka da su ba ma fata ana fatan kai shahada amma wa'inda suka rasa kawunan su suka rasa iyalan su yawmal qiyama a ranar da ake hisabi aka kira yan aljanna kab suka shige ba sunan su da su da iyalan su ba sunan su za a kai su to wannan su suka yi asara wannan shine asara na gaskiya asaran da buzai yuka gyara ba shi sa qur'ani ya fi kowane littafi bayanin hakikanin al'amari na gaskiya ah in kai asara a kasuwan musai ko kuma gobara ta ci kasuwan ka ko a mai duburi ko a kano ko a ina in Allah ya ga dama nan da shekara zai kama dukiyan ka ai ya faru da yawa wani ma sai a rasa cewa shin ko gobaran nan ta shafi wani saboda Allah ya mai mashi amma asaran lahira da mutane za a kai su aljanna a ce da kai da iyalan ka a kora ku wuta Allah ya raba mu da wannan wannan shine asara wadda Allah ta'ala yake hakika shine asara sai Allah ta'ala ce ala ku saurara zalika huwal khusranul mubin wannan hakika shine hasara mabayyani na gaskiya idan ka dubi karshen aya da yake kowa ya bauta mu abin da ya ga dama kamar Allah yana cewa ne kar ku yi tashin hankali ku bar kowa ya abin da ya ga dama za a dawo wajena da a samu wadda za su yi riba wadda suka bauta min da gaskiya za a samu wadda suka yi asara wa'annan su ne masu asara ne sai ka ba ka da tashin hankali kai musu in ka gabatar da wadda ba musulmi musulunci cikin usulubi mai kyau da bayanai masu dadi da rashin ta da hankali idan ya yadda wallahi alhamdu idan bai yadda ba ba ka da matsala kai ko da ba ka da shi kuma kar ka yadda ka ce wai wai wani abu na addini za ka hana shi a ba saka ba ba za ka taba samu musulmi a ce ga wannan ba musulmi ba suna da wani bukin su ranar lahadi suna da wani zuwan su wani kaza musulmi ce a kar a ji a wannan ba musulmi gaskiya ba ne duk abin da suke yi su yi mu dai a barin mu ma mu yi namu shi ne kawai ko shi ne zaman lafiya dan idan ana tarewa ana tarewa lokaci zai wani taru ba saboda muna da misalai karara ka isa yanzu a masallan a makarantan gwamnati ka ce wadda ba musulmi ba ta hijabi ka isa ka ga mi inda za a yadda ko a sa kutuba ka isa ka ce wacce ba musulmi ba ka ce nan garin shehu ne ke hijabi ba za ta yi ba ba za ka ma iya ba amma mu a inda muke da karfi a inda muke da yawa a ce ba za a yi ba kuma a zauna lafiya ai ka san ba lafiya Allah ya ba mu lafiya Sayyidi Fadhil Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said Allah told me to say Allah a'lam it is Allah alone that I do worship no one except him mukhlisan lahu dini purifying and worshiping him sincerely dedicating my deen my religion sincerely to him alone the issue of this uh, ikhlas is uncompromising as far as islam is concerned any act of worship presented or dedicated by an individual devoid of taqwa allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will never accept that 
That is the secret behind Allah the Most High said, repeating these words, repeating, repeating. Even in this surah, if you can count verse 2, verse 3, verse 11, verse uh, 14, you see, Mukhlisa, Khalisa, Mukhlisa, Mukhlisa. Why should Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue repeating songs? It is a point of emphasis and for you to know that that thing is uncompromising as far as Allah is concerned. You can continue to worship no matter how many years, no matter how much you suffer, in as much as this principle of ikhlas is missing, that your worship will never be accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is why it is being emphasized, it is being repeated, it is being reiterated so that it remains firm in our heart that whatever we do, we follow the principle of uh, ikhlas. Our predecessors among the companions and those who follow them consider the issue of ikhlas a very, very essential thing as far as worship is concerned. That's why they were not playing or they did not play with anything ikhlas, anything that will penetrate their heart or their worship that will render it invalid or allow Satan to whisper into their heart and render that act of worship useless. They fear it and they avoid it and they stay away from it. They ensure that whatever they did, it was would satisfy the principle of a ikhlas. So the Prophet said, uh, Allah told him that let him declare and tell everybody that it is only Allah he worships, that purifying the deed, the religion to him alone, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Fa'budu mashid. As far as this is my position. However, you unbelievers who reject Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, go and serve and worship whatever, whatever you so wish, whoever you so wish, either human being or an object. If you declare that that is your identity worthy of being worshipped, go and worship him. You have your religion and I have my religion. My position has been mentioned clearly without compromise. So you also go and worship whatever object of your choice. No fight, no argument. This is your choice, okay, go and do it. That's why Islam is a religion of peace. You cannot find a Muslim arguing or fighting except when his right is trampled upon. When he is not allowed or he is denied his right of practicing his, his religion, that is why Muslim will not take it from anybody. However, you can see so many things being done against uh, Islam and against the right of Muslims of worship in this country, but still Muslims are still are still accepting and are still compromising. Life and living examples. In our schools, for example, it is a point of dispute, wrangling, argument, problem upon problem for our daughters in some states to uh, dress in hijab in schools. If, for example, a principal of a particular school will say every student, every female student, regardless of being a Muslim or non-Muslim, must appear in hijab. That will be his inviting crisis in the school. And that crisis will definitely escalate and cover the whole country and gulf the whole country. But this is we, Muslims, as many as we are. A principle or a state will declare that no, no female uh, student will appear in hijab and that's how it will continue to be. This is trampling over our right, trampling over our right. So also the issue of uh, worship even on Friday. Friday is known as a special day and it's even recognized as a special day for Muslims. Everybody knows. But still, you must go to the office of Friday. And some of us must even take permission from their boss before they can be able to attend Friday prayer. But try it tell all the stuff under you as a kind of law which you establish in your office, being a council or a director or a minister in a particular ministry, that everybody must come to work on Sundays and see what is going to happen. So it is high time for Muslims to fight for their rights. 
not to take anybody's right and not to deny anybody his own right, just as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has, has said, the Prophet Allah has taken position of worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sincerely and that is his own position. But you who deny that, go and worship whatever you like. We who, who accept Islam, let us be allowed to practice it in totality the way it will please our Lord Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. فَعْبُدُوا مَا شِئِتُمْ مِنْ دُونِ Go and worship whatever you wish beside him, determine beside Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَلِنَا الْخَاسِرِينَ الَّذِينَ خَسِرُوا أَنفُسَهُمْ Tell them, O Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the real losers. If you want to know who is a loser, there are those خَسِرُوا أَنفُسَهُمْ وَأَحْلِمْ There are those who will lose themselves and they will lose their families يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ in the day of Qiyam. How can one, how would one lose himself and his family? He didn't worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He didn't even believe in him in the first place. He worshiped whatever he liked before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then on the day of Qiyamah, that is the one person who will see God because they will be condemned inside hellfire. Anybody condemned inside hellfire, he himself, his family, if you want to know the grade one loser, point at that person. So try and see that you avoid being among the losers either in this world or in the hereafter. And last one to post up prepares a house for each. Those who take position of worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala without associating partner and him, those who disbelieve and worship whatever object they like, Allah the Most High has prepared a house for each of them. Allah, Dalika Hul Musram be Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say pay attention, be attentive. If you are plain or if you are not inattentive, then be attentive. Certainly that is a manifest lost. That is manifest, clear, like daylight. If you want to know lost, it is someone who is condemned inside hellfire because of his disbelief. ذلك يخوف الله به عباده يا عباد فاتقون. توشيك ينن الله تبارك وتعالى في الله تعالى يشي وإن نوند سكي حسارك لهم من فوق مظلل شنا دشي أسمى كونن شو وإن نوند سكي حسارة شنا دشي أسمى كونن شو إن ووي Watu jam in inwa zulal. Wana inwa ba inwa bani na watu aina legend that ya inwa ni na azaba inwa ni na uta. Inwa ni wada akesak ashi dina urori na azaba. Anche moshi inwa ni sabo daya lili pe one day kikar kashinsa. Kaman kaje kikar kashin itachia ana azaba rana sete kari kada garana nta lili pe kata hana ka. Jin abinda aki ji na rana Tu haka wana inwa tiki Mba kaitha Wai inwa ni na iska Karasha iska wa Inwa chicha azaba Mba teba Zulan Inwa wii na kwe jam in inwa Da hausa Na jan daka chima inwa wii ni Tu wana nze lulu beke watu ba inwa Deba gaya inwa gaya inwa gaya inwa Sun 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 Tau kurawa mutin Damba subashi da diba Sun hana kasakati Abina duze zoe lulu beke hana keka muka ya wahalwa. Shisa kaba diki ya wahala. Inda za aje mutimba ze muka ba. Hmm? Inkei baya, musamba nkabaru muna kasa na Nigeria. Inkei baya, shine, inkei gaba, inkei sama. Mba inda laka shima. Allah tabarako ta ala chi wa inda suke asahara nang. La umi mfuki mzula suna do inuwi asamansu. Mina nari nada ga uta Lo minkana mutinye Toka chewa inu achi itushim Tachajundaki kuwa ni esi Kuwa ni panka kuwa ni sanyi Na utani Wa mintati him zulal Agar kashinsu mahaka Shusa laka gani shawo inu mba Inu wa ni najundaki ba Akasan sushima akwaiwa na inu wa Tauta Sama akwaita Kasa akwaita taakewa ye mutimba Indonesia Allah Ta'ala ci 
ذلك يخوف الله به عبادا da wannan Allah ta'ala ke tsoratar da bayin sa cewa fa yayi tanadi fa yayi yayi tanadi fa ga wa'adda suka ki yadda da Allah ta bada kota yayi tanadi fa ga masu yin kaba'irai yayi tanadi fa ga masu yin kisa yayi tanadi fa ga masu cin riba duk ya tare da ba haka wala ka zo duniya ka koma ka shiga inda ga dama ba a sai ka tsara abin da aka saka tsare domin ka zo wani aiki ne a nan duniya ibada kawai duk sauran kame kame ne to Allah ta'ala ya riga wannan tanadin ga wa'adda suka hasara Allah yana tsoratar da bayin sa da irin wannan bayani na irin azaba da ke jiran masu sabo ya ibadi ya ku bayina inji Allah fattaqun ku ji tsoro na inji Allah ku yi min biyayya fattaqun duk abin da nace ku yi ku yi duk abin da nace ku bari to ku bashi zaman lafiyan ka kenan ku dan hadon ka da Allah an go an duba takaddu komai daidai sha ce shi kenan kaman yan abin nan ne yan dogarawan hanya suna binciken takaddu in ka za ka ce tsaya ka tsaya dama an riga an tare gaban ka ai da komai ba ba inda za ka ya ya takaddu sai ka bego an duba yana nan an duba yana nan an duba shi ke nan sai a ce yes you can go a turancin sumalan shi ke nan kawai sai ka tafi kai an duba takaddu babu takaddun ka tun shekara biyar baka canza su ai ba inda za ka yi shi sa tsoron Allah shine kawai ka bi Allah ya ce kai sallah kana nan ya ce ai azumi kana yi ya ce ka bada zakka ka ba ya hana kai ya ka hanu ya hana zina ka hanu ya hana kisa ba ka kisa shine takawa ya ibadi fattaqun ya ku bayina inji Allah ku ji tsoro na ku yi min biyayya Allah ya san mu yawo cikin bayi masu biyayya babu laifi mutun ya sallah da takalmin sa an samu hadisin da inganta haka cewa mutun yana iya sallah da takalmin sa to amma uh, mutane su sani ina aka ce abu sunna ne ba dole ne sai mutun yayi haka din ba ko ba dole ne zama to shine shahararren sunna ba ko wani sunnan ku ba da ba wadda ma yafi shahara shine kai ba ta kalma din kai mutun da ya karanta hadisi da ya je jawo rigima a ungon su ga san can baya shekaru na abuja ba zai kasa wajen shekara 6 ko 7 ba wani liman dan sunna ni yasa ko ta kalma ya shigo masallaci da ya ba da sallah mutane suka jawo shi ana abuja suka ce ba za ka yi mana rigima dan kana lima a masallaci ba aka shiga rigima sanda aka raba masallaci mutane suka dare a ya zanto wasu ba sa bin sahara abada ka ga wannan liman ba ya da fahimta mai kyau tunda an yadda maka kai sallan ka ba ta kama to me na dole a ciki me na sakowa ga sunnoni nan da yawa baka yi su ba ka tayi cikin dare kai ta sallah kai kai a gidan ka ba sunna bane sai ka samu mutun ya kasa yin wannan to ka sunnoni suna da yawa kar mutun ya dauko wani sunna wanda akwai wata sunnan ba kuma ka zo ka dabu lalle samun mutane ka bi mutane iya fahimtan su abin da shine dole shine zaka ce musu wannan abun fa dole ne ba kawa abin da ko akwai zabi to kamar mutane da wannan zabin da zaka samu su fahimta ba ka zo ka ta da hankali ba a ban yi tunaba amma ina jin ai doke doke a masallaci saboda liman to kai ina liman ce an soma doke doke a masallaci saboda kai amma ta yaya zaka yi sallah da kalmi wanda shi musulunci daman yana yana magana dukkan matsaloli na ko ina ma kana soja ana yaki an ce ku yi sallah wa innan sukari ba sai ka tuba takalman ka sai ka kai kai sallan ka takalman ka ko kuma ka zo nan masallacin misali an riga an tsaye da sallah baka samu kafet ba ga wannan duwatsun suna da zafi in ka ce za ka tsaya akan wa'annan duwatsun na masallaci wanda aka yi wannan interlock na baturan nan sallah ma ba za ka nutsu ba sai kai sallah a cikin takalman ka amma yanzu misali mu tsaye da sallah 
zamu tarawi ka sugo da kalma ai kafin limai magana wasu da take ka yi kuma kai ka jawo sura ka mutun ya bi addini yadda yake kar ka dinga shi shi da kawo rigima wannan sa ta kalma za ka gane shi addini musulunci yana da yalwa ya san komai yana maganin komai yanzu shi wanda ya taho din nan ba inda zai abin nan ba kun bai taka kafin din kowa bai dauda wa kowa ba yayi sallan sa shi kadai a rana hmm ba ka da tuhu wanda zaka je ka dube cewa wani ya kai sallah ta kalma bai taka ka ba bai matsa maka ba shi ya san abin da yasa yayi saboda zafin rana da wannan nake tuna wata rana wani ya sami ni a ran bayan an yi sallama yace malam sujudan ka yi yawa kana sujura mai yawa mu muna rara kai kana yinwa sai nan nutsu Allah yake bake ni nace ka hakuri ai ina neman mu sabara yace wani irin lada ne mu muna nan muna goshi mu da yana tsayewa to tun daga ranar rage yawan sujara nan juma saboda ya fada gaskiya ta yi shi inda ya sallah ba ba ma kafe din idan ya daga goshin sa ya daga kaga ai bai cika sujar tun da liman sai ka jira shi to irin wayannan saukin a addini ya zama dole musulmai su dauke shi kar ka to bai tsara ni kai komai ka ce dole sai an yi gaba a musamman wanda ke jagorancin jama'a addini su zan to ma sauki kar ka su danga kawo wato rudani cikin jama'a na'am the brother is asking about the islamic ruling of observing salat with one's shoes while you are you put on your shoes is it possible for you to pray without taking them off uh, of course the answer is that it is permissible for one to observe prayer with his shoes and hadith has confirmed that however other hadith also confirm that one should take off the shoes the most important thing in things of this nature is that an imam should take his followers step by step not to introduce something to them that will get them confused and in the end it ends in a uh, fight or problem in the most disunity and something of that nature just like the example man has given of an imam who came inside the mosque in his shoes and said uh i give us salam i did it so i from there i i did so we were there to fight it from inside the mosque people saw that he was wearing his shoes so they refused that they would not follow him then started fight so you see that which happened was his fault because he should have taught his people he should have taught his followers that this is the ruling even if he was not going to practice it because the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam did not say you must pray in your shoes however there are situations whereby uh, uh, the best for you is to pray with your shoes for example a soldier in a battlefield though battle is going on allah says you should observe prayer so when they will observe their prayers one should not say okay they must take up their shoes before observing that prayer you should pray in his shoes or in their shoes their imam and all the followers so also in under intense heat whereby you can't even stand when they on bare floor to observe prayer then you can pray in your shoes but for example as this new carpet is laid in this mosque just somebody read that hadith maybe yesterday and come to practicalize it in the in this mosque even before imam is notified so people would have started dealing with him it is when imam here uh, shouting then he would ask what is happening before then he must have started crying so please let us take people uh, step by step according to their understanding especially if you happen to be a a, a leader ina tambaya kan kyauta da abinci da ba naka ba kamar da ya ciyar da kayan abincin mahaifinsa da ya ajiye a stop eh a ba dai dai bane da wannan musallan da aka bayar ba dai dai bane idan uba ya sayo kayan abinci ya kawo gida aka sa a rumbun ajiye abinci a idan ɗa yana so ya ba ma wani sai ya nemi izinin baban sa idan ya ce a to a ɗin ka je ka nemo na ka kudin ka saya ka bayar idan dukiyan ka ne wannan ba sai ka nemi izinin baban ka ba ma zai sani ba amma idan dukiyan sa ne ba yadda ba musulunci kullun yana da tsari ba naka bane 
kabari sai ya mutu kuna araba gado an baka naka to sai kai sadaka ba ni mun yi amma yana rayi dukiyan sa ne sai dai kuwa idan uban shine da kansa yace to a duk lokacin da kuka ga mu bukata da Allah ai kokari a abin nan na ba da yi haka nan matan aure ba dai bane ta yi abinci a gidan mijinta ta ringa rara ba mutane ba da sarin sa ba ba dai bane sai dai idan shi mai gidan ne yace to hajiya a duk lokacin da a gama bukata da Allah a kara girki a rarraba musu ku kuma kala kala na riga na ba ku to wannan ji a yadda musulunci bai san abin da za a yi a zo a yi rigima bai so kullun za ka samu zaman lafiya to shi sa wannan ba daidai bane so the answer to the question the question is that is it permissible for one to uh, give out food stuff belonging to his father kept in his store to just dash it out to people who are in need the answer is that it is not permissible because you are not the owner you do not seek permission of the owner though he is your father it is not permissible so also a wife cannot just continue giving out uh, the food provided by her husband without getting him informed or seeking permission from uh, from him wallahu uh, please is it allowed to combine salat zuhur and asr i was in a mosque and if it rained during zuhur and the imam combined both uh, the prayers to abinda ka sani da man galibi shine salan duhu wato magariba da isha za ka samu ana yin su ne galibi a duhu bayan rana ta fadi amma idan ka samu limamin da ya ga akwai bukata mai tsanani bai mai da shi al'ada ba babu lafi amma ba ita bace wanda aka sani idan ya ga akwai bukata mai tsanani ne ya hada sallan azadu al'asr ba za a ce yayi lafi ba amma galibi saboda larurar dare da duhun dare da bin lakan dare da ruwa da ake da dare shi ke sa a samu saukin bin sunnan annabi muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam na hada wato ainihin sallah sa'annan kuma kalli man idan yana yi karin mai da shi al'ada uh, har ya jawo matsala wa mutanen sa na no. uh, combination of zuhur and asr whether it is permissible uh, prayers that are being combined combined normally uh, maghrib and isha as a result of rain or something of that nature however zuhur and asr are not normally being combined maybe except under extreme need maybe fear maybe curfew or something of that nature wallahu a'lam and uh, it should not be made as a tradition that will be practiced today tomorrow next week for example dan uwa da ke tambaya na gaba yake cewa yace malam yanzu haka ina da kudi akalla miliyan 7 kuma wannan shine zakar farko da Allah ya azurta ni nake son fitarwa duk da cewa kudin nawa ba su kai shekara daya ba tambaya malam zan iya yin zakar a haka na biyu nawa ya kamata na fitar sharwa lafiya to kai ma ka sharwa lafiya a wanda yake da miliyan 7 kuma wannan shine farkon zakansa kuma kudin bai riga kai shekara ba shi ya ingantaye zakka zai iya yi domin shi zakka ana za a mashi lokaci ne abinda ba daidai ba shine idan ka wuce misali kudin ya riga kai shekara watanni uku da suka wuce har yanzu yana rike kana rike da sunan ne aka samu barna amma idan bai kai ba kai to sai ka mai da wannan lokacin da kai zakkan shine lokacin zakkan ka misali yanzu kudin sun kai wata tara ne a ramadan sai ka so kai a ramadan zaka iya yi idan kai zakkan yanzu a ramadan to ba za ka sake yin wani zakka ba kuma sai wani ramadan din ya biyo sa'an nan wannan miliyan 7 din abinda zaka fitar a cikin sa dai bisa 40 din su dai bisa 40 din miliyan 7 a ga masu lissafi dai bisa 40 din miliyan 1 ne miliyan 1 karba shi gida 40 na'am akwai yan banki anan na'am 20 dubu 25 Allah shiga ta mallan 
lalle wala akwai zazabi dubu ashirin da biyar ne kowane miliyan 1 dubu ashirin da biyar ne to shikenan tunda kana da miliyan 7 sai ka buga wannan ashirin da biyar din sa 7 za ka samu nawa 375 Allah ya